The director of the Arizona Department of Corrections was in federal court today defending the state prison systems during a trial about the quality of health care provided to inmates. Team 12's Colleen Sakura was in court for the director's testimony. This lawsuit dates back to before David Shin became the director of the state's prison system. He took over that role in 2019. But today in court, he says the contractor that the state uses to provide health care for inmates has been consistently understaffed and not meeting demands that their contract requires and the court required to. A class action lawsuit in its third week in federal court, arguing the Arizona Department of Corrections Rehabilitation and Reentry did not provide health care fast enough or in some cases at all to inmates in their care. No cameras and no recording devices are allowed in the courtroom. On Tuesday, state prison director David Shin took the stand as a witness to defend the department's actions, saying when he became director in 2019, the medical side needed a higher level of scrutiny. Shin said the department's partner Centurion Health has never had all the staff they need and even sent a letter to them demanding they meet staffing levels required in their contract and by a court order. Shin saying still the health care inmates in Arizona prisons get is faster than what private its citizens get. Those bringing the lawsuit argue Centurion left inmates waiting for care with no interpreters to help inmates during their care, among other issues. Shin said Centurion's efforts literally saved lives as COVID-19 has spread. He acknowledged the department increased the value of the contract with Centurion over the summer to $216 million, despite Centurion not meeting the basic request to fully staff their contract with the department. Telling the judge while Centurion has failed in certain locations, they're looking in reductions of failure and moving the needle from systemic failures. Colleen Sikora, 12 News. Colleen, thank